Hey everybody, welcome back to PA Organic Garden. Uh, I got a couple problems. My pumpkin plants dying. So I'm not going to have a giant pumpkin this year. I just wanted to give you all a quick update to show you what's going on with my garden. You can see, I believe the problem started in that vine over there. If you actually watch my last video, you can see that it's actually slightly yellower than the rest. And it just spread so rapidly before I even really noticed it. Now even my pumpkin's starting to turn orange and die off or whatever. The little one's just not gonna get much bigger than that. So at least I got one decent sized pumpkin. Let me know if this looks like a disease on these boxcar willy plants. Uh, I still think it was from too much moisture in the soil because it has this new growth coming in. It's just fantastic. And that's at the bottom. I just don't feel like it would be getting all that if the plant was diseased. I could be wrong there. bit of cat face but that's about it I don't see much else wrong with this plant besides the droopiness and obviously the old stuff dying off you know, let me know what you all think this Costaludo has been this Costaludo plant's been giving me the most tomatoes so far there's not a lot on it right now because I just harvested a bunch. But starting to get some cherry tomatoes and stuff too. Everything's still looking good besides the pumpkin. On a positive note, check out this uh, ghost pepper bush. <laughs> Definitely a bush now. Definitely have a bunch of them. But if you compare that to this ghost pepper plant, see the fruits notably different. And that's another ghost pepper. Carolina Reaper doing excellent. See how many peppers I have here.
still got a bunch coming too. This is definitely a healthy, healthy plant. Good genetics. I'll be cleaning this one for sure. Bell peppers. They're just getting huge. about the size of my fist there. Got a bunch on there like that too, not just one. This plant I'm definitely cloning also. I'm gonna take indoors for the winter. Keep this one going. It's the most productive, the tallest. Although this one's not far behind it. And there are the lipstick peppers, which are also getting huge. Let's see if I can. Not quite as big as my fist, but it's getting there. And I've got a couple more little ones forming. So you're going to have a few of these as well. I'll probably take this one indoors as well. Since I showed you my pumpkins and peppers, I might as well show you the potatoes too. You can see it's not seeding yet or anything. I'm just gonna let it all die off completely. Oh, I got some vines growing up there. Threw my potato box, no doubt. I didn't notice that at all till just today. They must have sprouted up quick. But you can see I have these. Looks like the morning glory. I gotta get rid of this stuff. But yeah, that's through the back of my potato box now. All right, well that's it for today. I just wanted to give you that quick update and show you what's going on with my pumpkin. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter how much money you spend, uh, stuff can still go wrong. All right, well don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time.